all right so today we're going to be looking at the different keys that we have on a computer system you can see we have several lot of keys we have the different characters with different alphabets with different numbers and some special set of keys I mean, these this, this, this keys, each and every of them have their own functionalities, but we're not going to look at everything today. We're going to be treating the special keys, the function keys, and few of maybe picking among the quartic keys the itself. So now, as I'm saying, we have a lot of keys, but what matters is the usage. You don't use all with the particular functionalities. This functionality depends on what you want to do. Now, for instance, let's start with uh, the function keys. You can see these are the uppermost keys, ranging from F1, F2, F3 through F12. Now, like I said, the combination of these keys really matters, and what you want to use them for is actually very important. F1 keys, most of the times, while gaming, you can use to, to for help. F5, you can use to refresh. F10, maybe on Windows Startup, you can use to choose some DOS command or some startup startup options i mean this basically you can get more information when you check on the particular laptops or on a particular computer system instruction manual now but most importantly i want us to fo focus on this the escape key the tab key the caps key shift key control key function key windows key alt key and of course the biggest of all the tab key now Going back to the escape key, what functionality does escape suggest? Like the name suggests escape, this of course, this escape key. Like the name suggests, it means while you are in the middle of something, pressing escape takes you off. You can be typing on the Microsoft Word, pressing escape key kicks you off. I mean, you can just undo what you've been doing. Now, tab key does what? What the tab key does, it takes you to actually the next value or to the next line or to the next sequence of action you're supposed to be taking. As you mean you're typing and then you type the tab key, it actually takes you to the next space where you're supposed to be typing. Now, the caps key, what does it do? The caps lock actually changes the value of, the, of, the, of, of your cases either to uppercase or to lowercase when you activate like this you can see with the light sign what it does is that it changes your letters or your alphabet or your alphabets to caps key when i say caps i mean capital case letters now the shift key also is more like a second function in the normal calculator and what it does it does actually vary a, lo a whole lot of stuff because with shift key you can combine to do several things you use the shift key to implement the special function keys like you said earlier you use also the shift key to implement every other keys that has a special characters on top like you can see like the art the ash the dollar sign percentage sign for you to utilize these signs you actually have to use them alongside the shift key now you see top uh, below shift key we have two keys the control key the function key now control just like the name suggests actually controls a whole lot of stuff i mean with control you can do a control s to save a control a to highlight a control z to undo a control x to cut a control c to copy i mean there are several things you can do with control uh, control key and now coming to us here okay this alt key alt key you can also combine with some special functionalities the function keys up there now but basically um, the last for today will be the tab key what the tab key does is the tab key actually gives you a space from your sequence of activities. As you know, you are typing and you hit the space bar. This is the space bar, the biggest of all. Now, when you hit the space bar, what it actually does is it gives you a space from what you're doing. I mean, you like to type in, this is a ball, you type this is, and you need to get to the ball. I mean, what you need to do is the, 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 the tab key here. So now, going forward, um, on the next um, session, we'll be talking about the major alphabetical key ranging from the top key, the L, G, F, G, A, up to the last key, where we have the JKL. I mean, we will have to understand how do we use this, when we type, do we just combine, or it's based on usage. So I hope you enjoyed this session. Now let's catch you on another day. Thank you.